Well, Steve, a group of lawmakers in more than a dozen state houses in the country are pushing to outlaw a crucial element of the president's uh, health care plan, the requirement to buy coverage or you have to pay a penalty. It's the requirement, as, as we just said. That's right. Our next guest is leading that effort in Minnesota. State Representative Tom Emmer joins us today. Good to have you here, sir. Thank you for having me. So you say you don't want the government getting between your decisions with doctors. Explain how, first of all, explain what, what you're concerned about with uh, the current plan and then give us your plan. Well, I'm concerned about the government making choices for us, especially choices when it comes to health care uh, and the decisions that we make regarding, number one, who uh, our doctors are, and number two, what type of health care we deem best for ourselves and our families. The proposal that we brought in Minnesota is a variation of proposals that you just mentioned have been brought around this country, including in Arizona and I believe uh, Florida and Georgia. Uh, what it provides is two things. One, that no government program can ever uh, stop us, the, uh, the citizens, from making our own decisions when it comes to our health care. And two, it would prevent uh, penalties from being imposed, uh, and I, I guess I too object, mm -hmm. to a criminal penalty being imposed on citizens who uh, choose not to right. purchase coverage. So, Tom, essentially what you would be doing there in Minnesota is offering up a, a constitutional amendment at the state level. But then you're talking about health care at the federal level, and you know that's just going to set off the state versus federal thing. And doesn't the federal government always trump the state government? Well, you know, in recent history, it has. Over the past 50 years, using the Commerce Clause, the Supreme Court right. has pretty much bootstrapped every state issue into a federal issue. In this case, though, I, I think we've got a, a little different thing going on. Minnesota has its own proposal. There's a senator in Minnesota who's actually made the statement that he his goal is to eliminate all private insurance companies. Uh, he's got his own proposal. So in our case in Minnesota, it's not only a state-federal issue, but it's a state issue. All right. Well, there are 10 states that have similar measures going, as we mentioned, but a lot of these, some of these states, I shouldn't say a lot, but some of these states have already rejected some of the notions, and does that dash your hopes at all? No, not at all. I, you know, as, as I've uh, said before, uh, you brought up the state uh, a federal government issue. You know, our founders created a republic because they understood the concentration of power in any one person or any one entity was a bad thing. So the intent was to give uh, strong states rights. Uh, that obviously has been eroded over the past uh, uh, several decades. But when it comes to the issues that are now facing us, one yeah. of which the big one today is health care, uh, I think you're going to see a revitalization a revitalization of uh, the 10th Amendment and states' rights from the standpoint okay. that the states, the states have to take care of their citizens. Sure. All right. We'll, we'll be watching. Uh, Tom Emmer, a state representative from Minnesota, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very Minnesota. much. Thank you. Another video.